We don't know if we talk about Gillette on this channel, but we have to today because they came out with an ad that has blown up skulls around the country. Let's take a look. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual Toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Oh, but she says he's a prostitute. And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right uh, way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big. Yo, men. And small. I am strong. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. So first off, let me say that uh, you know credit to them for making this ad, which is sure to generate controversy, which sort of would help them out. So perhaps a little bit less credit. Other than the credit that they were willing to do this in the first place, I don't care when gigantic corporations get involved in this stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with shaving. It has nothing to do with Gillette shaving in particular. I don't care too much about the Gillette angle of this. Now, they do say that beyond just this ad, they're going to put money into projects to inspire and educate men of all ages and challenge male stereotypes. We'll see if they actually do that. I'm gonna talk about this ad. I don't care about the corporate side. I don't wanna get involved with that. But the reaction is interesting because people have freaked out about this. And it's not surprisingly right wingers who say, how dare they continue their global war on masculine? Anna, what? Why is she on the damage port? <laughs> okay, so Anna Gasparian was in the video. I was, sh I just started watching that video, and I was like, is that Anna? That's weird. I guess we're we're going, we're we're a little bit more credible now. We're showing up in commercials, but back to the reaction. They insist on the right that this is part of the SJW feminazi war on men, and the thing is. I know that right wing guys don't like this, but I'm a guy and you don't speak for me and I am not in any way threatened by this at all. What I am threatened by is the sort of pervasive weakness and fear that typifies right wing masculinity. I find that to be pathetic sort of objectively. I don't even think it's really an opinion at this point. And I think that being freaked out by an ad like this does not make any sense whatsoever. Now, if you don't wanna buy Gillette razors because of this, you can engage in a boycott if you want to. You can shave with whatever you want, you can not shave at all if you want to. But to get freaked out about it by is a, little bit, is a little bit ridiculous. And I would say if you are gonna be freaked out by it, you can either be freaked out by it or continually attack snowflakes. But if you were freaked out by this ad, so much so that you're tweeting constantly and like Piers Morgan, his entire life is about this ad right now, I think you understand the impetus to do things that you define as snowflake behavior a little bit better than you like to imply that you do. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.